If you're starting this video, then you should now have the Radio Hub drivers loaded, and you should also know the COM port number of your scale Radio Hub. If not, you'll need to go back and follow the instructions in video 1 and 2 of this help series. If you're using the 30-day trial copy of Tournament Keeper software, the radio feature has been disabled and you will not be able to perform the setup or testing of your scale as shown in this video. If you've purchased the Tournament Keeper software, you must have your activation code entered in to activate the radio feature. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to demonstrate the radio link setup using a copy of Tournament Keeper 7. So open up your software, left click on the configuration tab on the left side of the screen. Then left click on preferences. A division preference window will open and in the lower left corner of that window would be a button labeled new. Left click on the new button and the division preference configuration window will now open. Click on the tab labeled Pro Tournament Device Setup. Now in the upper right corner of the screen there's a listing of COM ports and this is where we set the COM port number that we found in an earlier video. Press the test scale button. The black box will appear with green text in it. Place a weight of a half pound or more on the weighing platform. The readout on TASA software will display locked when the weight on the H2 locks and then close. The locked weight will be displayed under the test scale button. You can perform this test as many times as you like. Congratulations, you've just successfully set your Pro Tournament Scales weighing system up to communicate with TASA software. This is Terry Clarkson, and I want to thank you for choosing Pro Tournament Scales as your official weighing system.